Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. So Tricker currently has mud fever and they literally only just come in so I wanted to wash their feet off and their legs because they were rather muddy. Get their legs all clean and dried which I do use a towel for as well uh, just to dry their feet and then start treating Tricker's mud fever and Dixie has a little bit of mud fever as well. So I use a nice big sponge <laughs> as you can see that was a bit sore for her there. Um, I use lukewarm water just to help clean off her feet and make sure she's nice and clean and I try not to put too much pressure on this leg because it is the worst of them but I do just want to give it just a tiny soak just so when I am putting on her cream and that the sore skin that she does have there at the bottom of the hoof is, um, is really clean and it's not going to get any sort of infection so I use the um, muddy buddy mud fever cure um, for her mud fever is just to help and get rid of it until I can then sort of do the rest of the muddy buddy treatments on it just to help keep rid of it I do also want to get some mud fever boots for her because she is the only one that really gets the mud fever Dixie not so much but Tricker definitely gets mud fever so in this I do all four legs anyway on both my big ones because Apollo is still not very keen on you touching her feet and her legs but as you'll see at the end we do do some work with her legs and then we do some tying up just to learn her manners when you're in the stable because she likes to push on you when she's tied up so I did a little bit of work with her with that as well now Tricker is normally really good she has this done nearly every winter she's not always as bad as what she is now but this year she seems to be a lot worse so I use a blue towel and just wipe down her legs and then give them a nice good rub a gentle rub but I do try and rub them she's not very keen on having this done at all because it is sore for her and I don't really blame her and this would be her fourth treatment I'm doing this. I did turn her out the night before because her legs do swell and fill up with fluid. But she needed this to just sort of give her a bit of a break from the mud. Let the muddy buddy work and do its thing. So she was out on the mud. So she is in for the next two nights. And I'm going to let the muddy buddy do its work. And then hopefully I can get her out on Monday to have a nice good stretch. She's going to go for a walk in the school tomorrow and see how she's moving. But yes, hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog. Please like and subscribe. Ignore the children in the background. Hazel has a friend over this evening. And I am... <laughs> As you can see quite big again I was in the middle of a flare up on this day so really I was wanted to get these guys down and leave them in peace get their beds down I left their beds up for this reason because I knew I would be washing their feet down and I didn't want to get it all in their bed and get the money the cream that we're using on Tricker's feet um, and get straw in it and cause a secondary infection so I just wanted to be extra safe with her and just just make sure she is nice and comfortable there is only one of you only one of me there's a million of those who won't let us be but they're not gonna not gonna see me bleed because baby i got you 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 i've been beaten to the ground dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you I'm 
probably thinking, why do I tie up Dixie, but I don't tie up Trix? So trickery is actually really, really good, having her feet washed and wiped and cleaned, other than, <clears throat> like, doing her mud bubby crewy. See, she kept picking up her foot. That is because that leg is incredibly sore. Dixie, on the other hand, now Dixie, she'll pick up your feet for you and she'll let you pick them out, but having her legs and feet washed, yeah, she's not the best. But she does get there after a while and obviously she loves having stretches at the same time when you're doing her front leg so I just give her a bit of a, a leg stretch whilst doing it. It just makes life a little bit easier with Dix and obviously I already put her bed down so I had to move her away so I could just get the feet and not get her bed soaking wet. That was my main thing of trying not to get the beds wet. Now again, lukewarm water, clean water, not soapy or hippie scrub or anything like that. Just lukewarm, clean water I used to clean their feet with. And the big sponge was cleaned every time after you after it was used on tricks. I made sure it was clean, that there was no mud, no scabs that had come off when I was cleaning Tricker's foot. So that was done to make sure that was quite clean as well. So I didn't cause any like crossover or contamination to them from Trix to Dixie because that was my other concern that I didn't want to do cross contamination with anything and I just wanted to be safe. Now you can see Dixie does not like having her back legs done but she will stand after you chase her around for about five seconds then she does it. So Dixie has a tiny bit of mud fever but she also has a nasty cut on the bulb of her heel. I'm not sure how she's done it but she does have a nasty cut at the bulb of her heel. So in that sense of doing the mud buddy cream which I did do which is on the other leg not the one she's cut but um, I use this spray. Now it's used for all animals. It's used for uh cows and sheep it's just like a big canister it it was a little bit cheaper so i just brought one of those and i sprayed that on the cut to make sure that i'd kept so once it was cleaned and i'd made sure it was cleaned and that there was no mud in it no dirt nothing so once it was clean i sprayed it up well it was dry as well obviously um i did dry her feet as well first but yeah i just made sure it was clean and no way i could get anything in it and i was just trying my best to keep both my girls healthy and happy. Now it is winter, it is expected, especially when my two, well my three actually, my three run around my field like absolute lunatics and I still don't know how Apollo escaped. So I'm going to have to work that out before I turn them out on Monday and deal with it then. But yes, it was a little bit more harder to figure it out and do Apollo. I kept my top kept driving me insane I'm sorry they all kept riding up when I was trying to do things and then my trousers were falling down as well it's just been a bad week with flare-ups and this is why this vlog is going out so late is because I haven't been very well either I mean my flare-up started on Tuesday and now I've got this so I had this I was trying to film this whilst talking through it but I was in so much pain even bending over that it was like oh I don't want to bend down <laughs> please just let me get out of here um so yeah this was her worst leg I just rubbed it all in my trousers I didn't even realize I had done that yeah so that was the, the start of it and I just wanted to very quickly do this leg because when I was cleaning them I yeah that was the worst leg sorry guys um i just wanted to get her clean and done and very quickly because i was in a lot of pain and literally all i wanted to do was come home and go sleep because that is what happens throughout a flare-up but um yeah did her feet did the silver money buddy which seems to be working a little bit on tricker and then the purple spray because i had to go wipe my hands off afterwards she stands there really quite nicely when she wants to. I just realised that as well. Um, I sprayed the purple spray on her feet. Without being killed. Yeah, <laughs> without being killed.
No. Stop. Stop. Stand. I know you can have a treaty in a second. No. Yeah, Dixie is not the easiest to do pepper spray with, especially cast one, but she's even worse when you've got like the spray bottle. So she's not the easiest of horses to do pepper spray with, um, but she has managed to cut the bulbs of her heels on both front legs, which I hadn't noticed until I started like looking around it a little bit again. I noticed the bigger one, which is on the front right, but I didn't notice like the littlest one on her left front left. So yeah, just did both legs just to be on the safe side. Gave her a lot of cuddles because I don't like upsetting her too much. Um, so I just gave her some cuddles afterwards and just made sure she was quite happy to be cuddled. And first she did really good considering you know, she is the way she is. Yeah, nice cuddles for her. She's a good girl. Stop. Calm down. Look. Sit, 
cheese. There you go. Don't bite me. Don't bite. No itches. I itch, but you don't bite. Good girl. I itch you. You don't bite me or barge me. That's it. Good girl. Good. This one. You do this one. Good girl. Hello. Right, that's enough for today. Right. All three. All three stud muffins. Oh, look at that. Oh, tricky. Right. Hi, Dix. Hi. Here's yours. Oh, good God. <laughs> yeah. Dixie's had hers. Apollo, do you want yours? Apollo. 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 Hey. Slime. We're just learning some manners, aren't we? Yes. You're a good little girl. You're getting there. Yes, you are. But she has to learn to stand. Oh, stand being tied up. So, just doing that with her. And ending this one, or this vlog, on Baby Apollo's standing lessons. She just constantly wants to be scratched on her face. So, it keeps her occupied for five minutes. I don't mind. Good girl. Good. <coughs> Good girl. Scratch around her faces. There we go. What? No rubbing. I oh, know, her collar's a little bit big. It'll be okay for two minutes. There's a good girl. There's a good pony. Yes. Good girl. And we're getting there. The leggies, good girl. And this one, leave me, you dum dum. You jumped then, didn't you? We're getting there with the leggies. He's waiting for dad because I need him to watch you whilst I go and get your straw so you don't hang yourself. Hey? Okay?